What's up? It's cool to have you back. I'm amped. You're not catching my drift. You don't know what I'm saying? That's because I'm using slang. But in a few minutes, thanks to El Mejor Inglés, you're going to know exactly what slang and jargon are. I'm sure that you have heard both terms. In fact, I'm sure that you already know a couple of slang words. Slang are words that are used, they're not standard. They're not your standard English and not everyone is going to know them or agree with them or you won't even see them in the dictionaries. A slang word might be in the dictionary, but usually they are not. Slang words are things that people use informally. So for example, cool. Cool is something that is cold to the touch, but that's not actually how people use it now. They say that something cool is something great that they like very much. What's up? That one is popular now because everyone has WhatsApp. So what's up means hello. So this is not the formal use of WhatsApp. Jargon is similar to slang, but jargon are specific words and expressions that are used in a specific activity. For example, if you ever watch the show ER, which is a very popular show, when they were talking about a patient, when you hear them speaking, hey, I, I'm just like you, I didn't understand what they were saying. They were using very specific language, which is for their profession. If you listen to two sports people talk about their sport, you might not understand everything that they say. That's because they are using jargon, which is specific language for their profession. So make sure that you study a couple of slang words in English so that you're not lost when you hear two people talking if you ever travel to the US. And of course, if you're in a profession, you are going to hear and learn some jargon in English because of the books that you read or the conferences that you attend. Some of the words there are going to be specific for your profession. All right, guys, so our expression for today is bringing home the bacon, okay? Of course, bringing home the bacon refers to, let's just say old times when the man or the person who works in the house is the one that brings the money for the food on the table. So the bacon actually refers to money that you use to buy food for the house. So um, if you're watching this, you are probably a busy professional who uses English and needs it in order to bring home the bacon. So thank you for watching. Okay, dudes, so that's another slang word, dude. I have a message for you. Recuerde que si usted quiere mejorar en el aprendizaje del idioma inglés o conoce a alguien que quiere mejorar en el idioma inglés, contacte a Progressive English Services, que es la mejor escuela que puede atender en este país, al 809-732-5150 o visite el enlace ps.com.do que está también aquí debajo en información y recuerde que hay un 10% de descuento en la inscripción si menciona que no soy yo acá. Another message that I have for you guys is to thank Brazuca Soccer Field and you've, you saw the logo at the beginning of this video. I want to thank them very much for joining us as a sponsor. Thank you guys. The last thing is I want to thank you guys for being here, for being part of the show, for joining the community and sending us messages and questions. We always love to get those like the last that I answered in the last video. Keep liking these videos, share them with your friends, comment on them if you want to join the discussion, and remember to subscribe. So, uh, let me see now. I guess now we have the sponsor message.